Bonjour, ladies, gentlemen, traps. So today we're gonna be <laughs> so today we're gonna be taking a look at this weapon that grunts. Oh! All right, this weapon is a lot of fun for the last perk. All right, for the last perk only. We're gonna talk about the weapon later on. But I tried this weapon with my boys on Twitch yesterday and we came up with some spicy, spicy builds. It was a lot of fun, actually. Before we jump into that, here are the perks. This weapon is full legendary. You got magazine size, crit damage, energy, crit rate, and crit damage. And the last perk we got, if you stand still for one second, you're gonna regenerate 10% of your shield. That's insane. All right, that's insane. You can do so many builds with that. That's really good. But there's another perk that if you stand still, you're gonna get more damage. I really, really think it's gonna be way better than this perk because we all know more damage is equal more spicy, all right? Equal more spicy. It all makes sense. So yeah, here's my loadout. I went with the crit damage guy as a main hero. Of course, I changed the skin. Otherwise, I wouldn't use him. Finally, I could change the skins. It's so awesome. I'm using the... What? It's an eager, all right? So I'm using my eager. Hell yeah. <laughs> And this is the exact build. I'm the reason I'm using Jonesy and Thunderstrike Mary. It's better if I show you in game because of the last perk. It's actually really, really good. Just to fucking smash it. Oh no! Oh no! I'm doing something else. Smash it, please. No smash it. Calm down. It doesn't pierce. It's good to know that this weapon doesn't pierce. Oh, smash it! Smash it! Smash! No, amazing smash it. Come here. Come here, my friend. Yes, yes. Uh, smash up! Charge, charge, amazing, 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 amazing. Wait, 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 amazing, amazing. Alright, check this out. Now I'm gonna eat my candy. My power level. Here we go. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. I mean, if I have to be honest, if we crit, it's not bad. The crit are actually really, really good on this gun. Here I can show you what this perk is all about. So I'm gonna let them hit me, I'm gonna stand still. I'm gonna get shield back and I'm gonna stun them. Every time my shield breaks, I'm gonna stun them, so I have time to shoot him, and... BE GONE, fuck! So if they keep hitting me like that, I can get shield back by standing still, and if I kill them, I can heal. And if they get close to me, they get stunned. So now, as a soldier, I'm standing still, and I didn't die yet because of this goddamn perk. It's actually really good. It's actually really good. But at the same time, as I said, I'm pretty sure that damage perk is way, way better. It's way better. I really think so. The shield is awesome and all, but you need to use it on tanky characters like the Swamp Knight, all right? This shield on the Swamp Knight, they hit you, they take damage. Amazing. Amazing on the Swamp Knight. But on a hero like this, a normal soldier that's got crit damage i think it's better if you go for the damage one i mean here's a smasher i'm gonna show you guys something all right let's check out the weapon damage without the crit buff i want to see against this smasher without the crit buff come on smasher let me kill that guy first oh not bad no not bad not bad uh, smasher come down come down my friend all right smasher smasher nice so, show me that face smash come on I'm actually really hyped about this update. I'm using this character in Save the World. I'm so excited. I always wanted to use it. I'm so hyped. Uh, no home. Oh, hold up. Smash. No, 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 Smash. I'm talking to the boys. Oh, here we go, boys. All right. Show me that face, Smasher. Smash him, my friend. Hell yeah. Die by an ego, my friend. No! All right. All right. All right. I'm trying to go as good as... All right. Full magazine. We didn't kill the Smasher. Because to be, let's be honest, I didn't crit that often. Oh, holy crap, if you don't crit, you deal no damage. Oh, that was a crit, so spicy. I mean, when you crit with this weapon, it's actually really good. I wonder if there is a perk, a less perk. The more you stand still, the more crit rate you're gonna get. Oh, that will be insanely good for this weapon. Standing still with the shield, it's not bad. It's not bad. I am, as a soldier, standing still and shooting, and I didn't die yet in my power level. This is actually quite good. The small husks can't kill me, and because I'm killing them, I'm getting health back from Jonesy. Oh, but the smoke though, the smoke. Oh no, smoke. Oh no. Am I gonna die? God damn it, loppers. God damn it with this. Hey, hey, I have a question for you. Did you guys notice that there is a lot of them nowadays? There is a lot of loppers. I don't know the smoke loppers. I don't know what they're called, but I'm gonna call them loppers. There is a lot of them. Every match, I find so many. So many. Normally, there is a ton of normal husks, not lobbers. But nowadays, there are so many, so many lobbers. Do I get shield even if I'm dead and standing still? Amazing. Amazing. With this weapon, I'm gonna stand still. I'm gonna eat first. Look at this. The damage is not bad. Like this, if you have the crit, the damage is not bad. Believe me. If you have the crit buff, this weapon is not bad at all. 
But if you don't, it might not be so good. Alright. You might need to go for other heroes. I mean, I really recommend this gun. Hey, hey, I really recommend this last perk. The last perk, I really recommend it. Because on the Swamp Knight, this one is spicy. You just stand still and your passive is gonna kill them with the Swamp Knight. It's actually really cool. You need to try this with the Swamp Knight. It's actually really good. If I was a soldier and this many husks coming towards me, it's actually nuts. I would be so scared and using all my abilities. But here, I can just chill. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. The other downside about this weapon, by the way, if something up close and personal, it's so hard to kill them with this gun. It's so hard to kill them. I don't know. I just find it super hard. All right. I don't, don't move. Don't swap your weapon. If you move, you die. If you swap your weapon, you die. Uh, I think I'm, I'm gonna die anyways. No, 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 don't die. How am I still alive? Kill me already. Jeez. All right. Now the lobbers are here. Uh, when the lobbers... No, no, no. Get out of there. When the lobbers start throwing, you have to move. Otherwise, you're 100% gonna die. Alright, so let's talk about pros and cons about this gun, alright? So, first of all, first con, the spread all over the place. If you don't aim down sight, this gun is not that great. So, this gun for uh, gun and run, not good. Not good. Where this weapon shines, alright? This weapon is not bad at all. Where this weapon shines, let's say there's husks and this is the, your base. You want the damage buff, alright? You want the damage buff as the last perk and stand on top of your base and keep sniping husks. This is where this weapon going to shine. It's not bad at all. It's just the perk that I have on the gun, the last perk, it's not showing the gun's full potential, I think. To be honest, I didn't try it with the damage one, so I might be talking out of my butt. <laughs> but I really, really think this weapon, if you get the damage buff on it, is gonna be really great. I mean... I really think so. I really, really think so. Standing still, uh, still dealing more damage, and it looks like you just stand on top of your base, and it's gonna be great. But would I use this gun? I think not. This one, especially with the shield. No, I don't think I'm gonna use it. I'd rather wait for other weapons with the shield to use with the Swamp Knight. This one is really, really not good for close combat. Up close and personal, it's not good. It's not good. This is like for long, long range. As I said, standing on top of your base and killing stuff like that. It's really good. Really, really good. With that said, I really recommend this gun if you get the damage buff on it. Try it out. So yeah, I'm going to be ending the video here. Let me know what you think and I will see you later on with another one. Take care and have yourself a good day. Maybe use my code. I mean, uh, it's free, you know. That's a great price. <laughs>